everybody it's Maz the Gardener how's it going today on this beautiful Monday afternoon oh it was it was a little stormy like I don't even know what was going on this morning I mean technology was a mess today at work and So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm a teacher, a daughter, and a wife here in Northeast Florida, Zone 9A. And I love to garden. And I just want to show you guys some of the things that's going on in the garden and uh, take a look around. So we have some stuff going on here. These are my cucumber melons. And I got them kind of twisted up. And hopefully they'll start growing. They look pretty good so far. And this is the trellis that I actually had the um, loofah on last year. I grew loofah. And then here are the actual the loofah plants here that are starting to sprout up. So I got to give them some more, some more uh, pop in them. Uh, somebody asked a question about like containers. I do mostly containers. I just find them to be easier. You can kind of move them around when need be. So this one here is a um, an old bin that my dad made that um, Noah was using. So we just drilled some holes on the bottom of it. And I just filled up with soil and planted and that's there. I also do a lot of containers. So that is a container. I forgot, I think I got that at Winn-Dixie, one of the grocery stores. Again, just drill some holes on the bottom of it. These blue ones, this blue one here, this actually has... Um, onions in it and they're starting to get a little big i'm gonna have to water them though i check them and they seem kind of get into the dry point so this blue container i had for a couple of years i had potatoes in it and i dumped that material out and put some else in it and then dump that detail out and then i have um the onions so i have that in here but i got that i think at lowe's and then these are the grow bags i got off of amazon and um, I like them a lot. They are uh, supposed to air prune and I don't really see them get too much in the situation. So these are actually my tomatoes that I have in here. And it's time for me to kind of prune around some of them so I make sure the airflow get through. So no blight when it gets to be super hot here in Florida because we know if you live anywhere near, we consider it to be south, southeast. One minute, you're blazing hot. The next minute, you know, act like you want to get a little cold, put a little uh, cold into it. So, yep, so these are pretty cool. These are wild uh, boar farms, blue boar berries. They're a cherry tomato type. Um, I think there are... Um, and an indeterminate and an indeterminate means it doesn't stop growing it continues to grow until the frost kills it off um, and it kind of grows up so I'm I don't know if the indeterminate or determinate determinate means it comes on one big um, time and then that's it so right now it's doing pretty pretty well on there pretty well um, I'm actually thinking about putting some more soil in it to strengthen up those roots and then over here, um, again, we do have some tomatoes. I believe those, those are the same kind. And also, I think there's some Roma tomatoes in this one. And again, these grow bags, I got a deal on them. It was like five for like 20 bucks. And these are 20 gallon containers. So over here again, we have some more blue containers. Uh, this gray container I had, I was packing, and I just put a hole in the bottom of it and kept it going. This is where the um, garlic is at. Tasted good yesterday. And then you can get kind of fancy. Got some of these fancy. I think I went to At Home, which is a um, decorating store, and got this. It was a part of a pair. It's a medium, a baby one, a medium one, and a, this is the large one. And these have my blueberries in them. And I've been snacking on blueberries for a while now. And I got blueberries in this too in a grow bag. Now the red containers, as you can see the red containers in a row, those I got from Firehouse Sales for two bucks. You just put some, um, you just put uh, some holes in the bottom of it for drainage. 
And then over here is a, I was doing hydroponics class at the Clay County Extension. Y'all, y'all be sleeping them. Y'all be really sleeping. If you go to your local extension office, they have tons and tons of information. Majority is free, or some of the classes might be a couple, you know, $20, $40. But you get so much information from them, so much. Don't sleep on them. I'm serious. So that's where I used that, got that container from. That has my Roma tomatoes, I believe, in that one. And that's actually one tomato, and it's split because it kept... Um, getting suckers on them over here is the um, peppers we have some scope peppers we have some um, Marconi peppers this little black one here in front of me is a pepper and the three around here are um, elephant garlic and regular garlic so we're gonna swing over here here's the medium sized one of the set that I have the one of the blueberries in. And then I have a lot of terracotta pots. I got these at, um, some guy was having a the forever, ever, ever garage sale. You know, those people that always have something out for sale. Yeah. So we had that and then I have a small one here and this is some uh, lavender I think is in here, but I'm gonna repot this and put it somewhere. And then the red one in the back is where I got from a kit. And then this over here is the uh, my pineapple. And I kind of cut some of the things off the dead. I was trying to regenerate growth. But I actually moved it from one area to another area. So I'm actually, you know, so this filled up. And then once this fills up, I can move it to a bigger one. My neighbor has one. It's awesomeness. So take a look at here I have some bunching if you've been with me on my channel before I had some bunching long Tokyo bunching onions in this bed so I took those out y'all it tastes smashing and I put some Thai basil sweet basil seeds in here and I put some lemon basil in this one so I kind of just sprinkle it around here this is my lonely 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 pepper plant here I planted some other pepper plants, but this is the only one that popped off. And then I also, have, I think I also have some more over here, some basil. So, and then this is Thai, this is the Tulsi Holy Basil. And as you can see, I'm just going to let this one go to sprout. But if you, you could actually use the leaves for teas and they're good pollinators. So I need to plant some more pollinators because um, I need my stuff to be pollinated. I need some bees. Over here, you're looking at the uh, Royal Burgundy Bush Beans, and I've grown these before um, in October, and they did pretty well. These um, turn out purple, and then when you cook them, they turn green. And over here is a marigold that I planted over here. Um, I got my marigold seeds, um, the original bunch I got from the Dollar Tree. Another place. Don't be sleeping on the Dollar Tree. They got some good seeds. So I got a lot of seeds, and I went to the Dollar Tree, and they they pop off. I don't know why people be sleeping on the Dollar Tree Dollar Tree seeds. All right, if you come over here, these are the midnight sunflower seeds. Sunflowers. They're like a dark dark red. It's so beautiful when I looked at the picture of them yeah somebody gave me those and then if you're looking through the forest I just actually clipped off some basil some large leaf basil leaves and then over here on this side over here is where our um, black turtle bush beans oh look at that the wind the wind the wind and then in the back here is more, some more holy basil. So that's what we got going on here. Right now, the, it looks a little dry. We have had days of rain and um, it still hasn't soaked in. So I'm just um, trying to replenish over here and uh, get some more nutrients in and replant. You hear something in the background, that's my, my uh, protector dog. So over here, friends and family, it was a bed of cauliflower, spinach, 
and uh, cabbage. I still have the cabbage here. I'm actually gonna pull the cabbage today. I'm gonna pull that one because I need this bed because I, there's some other things that I would love, love to do. And then, I don't know if you noticed, if you look back through my videos, um, I have there what it says, triumphs and disappointment. So I have a disappointment. My lemon tree, I don't know what the deal was. It was just, it would start off beautiful and then would just everything would die. So I don't know if it had a fungus or whatever, but my husband decided that it wasn't going to do anything and got rid of it. So um, I'm kind of bummed about that, but I'm not deterred. Mm -mm. I will be getting me another tree um, and some other things that I would like on the wish list. I would like to get another Maya tree, another a lemon, a lime. If I could find a cocktail tree, which I'm going to actually do that. For those who don't know, a cocktail tree is a tree that has multiple um, grafted edges to it, limbs to it, and each branch is a different tree, different fruit. So you can have between two to like six of them. Um, and they, a lot of people like them because you don't want, in case you don't want to buy the whole tree, you can buy a cocktail tree and keep it going. Uh, excuse me, sir, can you please leave my stuff alone? Thank you for your support. So that is what it is right now. And then this is the trellis again. So in here, I would love to plant some, um, some more beans. Um, I think I'm gonna be done with the peppers. I'm not gonna put any more peppers in there, but I have a couple other ones I need to get in. And I'm still trying to get this bed all taken care of. Cause you know, working full time, even though I'm working from home, it's still a lot. So that's about it. I'm hopefully get 